Hey YouTube, it's time to check out another product for artists and those who just like sharper pencils. It's the Art Electric Pencil Sharpener from Afmat. So, without any further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so I got this pencil sharpener and the folks over at AFMAT says, hey, we want you to check this out because this one here has some interesting features that uh, your artists, friends and viewers would likely enjoy. So here are the features as you can see and let me just do a little zoom zoom. It says long point pencil sharpener, fast sharpen and auto stop, different pencil nib, stainless steel helical blade, rechargeable and portable. Now, I have been informed, I have been informed that uh, this thing does uh, some other things other than what they just said on this box. So uh, I think they may have shortchanged themselves by not saying everything. And that is, it's supposed to have an auto eject as well. But let's find out if that is so, because you know it's real easy to get products confused because they do offer a whole lot of different sharpeners and stuff. As you know, because I have reviewed many of them. Okay, well that's everything that's in the box. And this looks familiar. Wow. Okay, now this particular pencil sharpener here, you may have seen a video I've done, and this looks just like it, with the exception that it has this uh, wheel in the front, which I believe is what um, sets the nib sizes. And it looks like it has, let's see how many settings here, it goes from there to there, is that it? Okay, from there to there. So I guess those are your two extremes. And it has the rechargeable that's underneath there. It's like the do not go zone. So everything else looks pretty much the same as the other one. And you would, of course, you could open it up on the top here. And you can dump out your shavings. Let's see if any of this other stuff moves out of the way. No, okay. And then you can get a really close look at the blade. There it is. Okay, it's a single helical. Everything feels very solid, that's good. So let me put this back in. And I guess the next thing to do is to read the instruction manual. Forget it, I don't read instructions. I know. Don't have me drive you around town. It might take you an hour just to get to the local supermarket. Okay, and let's see, let's plug that in there. And there is the plug-in in the very back. Looks like it has a mini USB connection. So if you lose this, you should be able to replace it pretty good. And then we have this little blinky blink here. Now, of course, I would imagine that this thing is going to have to charge before we can use it. I guess I can read the instructions. Oh, carita. So let's see what it says here. Rechargeable and portable, yes. Okay, it says charge the battery when you receive the product. The LED light flashes blue. Yep. When you charge the product and stays in blue when fully charged. Insert the pencil and press dowel lightly. You gotta press dowel lightly. See D-O-W, dowel. I believe that's supposed to be down. Okay, the pencil will go into the sharpening hole automatically. Okay, it's an automatic pencil suckener. <laughs> and go out after it's sharpened well. So it'll take it and it'll eject it by itself. That's different than the other one that I had that would make those really long uh, points. That looks just like this one. Now there are two settings for this. There's blunt and sharp. Just turn the switch at the lower part of the sharpener, that's this wheel down here, 
as the uh, it says as the arrow shows. So if you look closely, you can see there's a point, and then here you can see that it's blunt. So that's how you would set it. I'll set it to point. I never understood why anyone would want blunt, but it's there if you want it. Uh, it says, if the lead is broken, insert a hard pencil and push down with more pressure and the lead will be excluded. Excluded? Probably extruded. But anyway, the pencil sharpener can sharpen very short pencils that are only like 2.8 inches. And uh, we provide a pencil extender to hold short pencils. That's what this puppy is. And you can never have enough of these if you are a pencil artist because our pencils do get short, short in the stubbies. So there you go. And you can, you have different, uh, here's for the regular like eight mils and here's like for the nine mils. Okay, that's good. All right, back to the exciting instructions. It says when the battery is low, the LED will flash for five minutes and then stop working. When the product is overloaded, the LED will flash for 30 seconds and stop working. The product can resume work after 15 minutes. Well, just don't overload the poor thing. That's about it. Okay, so it says it's suitable for eight millimeter wooden and color pencils, but it says do not sharpen wax pencil, charcoal pencil, crayon, or chalk. Okay, I am sad to see it say not to sharpen charcoal pencil, but then I'm glad that I have the other one that I can sharpen my charcoal pencils with. So, little trade-off there. Okay, and if you have any problem with this within one year, they will take care of you. You just get a hold of support at afmat.com, and they're real good about that. Okay, and if you're wondering what this is, it's what you plug in your charging cable to, but I already had one, so I, I got a whole collection of these things. Stick that in the drawer. There we go. Okay, well, I will be back when this thing is fully charged so that we can take a look at its ability to sharpen your artist pencils. And for you, it'll be in three, two, one. Okay, well, it's fully charged now. As you can see that the uh, LED is a solid blue. And so we'll go ahead and use this. I don't think I need to keep this thing plugged in. Let's find out. Here I've got me a unsharpened pencil. Now the idea is that you should be able to put this in and it should take it in by itself, sharpen it and spit it out. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna hold this sideways so we can see the action as it goes in and out. So here goes. Look, hands free. Of course, holding it sideways is going to cause the lid to come off, so I wouldn't advise doing it this way, but let's take a look at what we got. All right, so that did a good job. It sharpened it. Now, as you can see, it's not one of those super long points like its cousin that looks just like this that makes those really, really long points. This thing here, its claim to fame is basically that it can take a pencil, and I'm going to do another one, and this time without being sideways, so that uh, you can see it doesn't lift the lid off. And let's just do this real quick here. That's pretty cool. And see the lid's on. Okay, so as you can see, it does a great job sharpening. Now, it's a pretty decent length point, okay? It's not super long, but it's not one of those short ones either. So it's, 
I would just say it's your standard, mm, well, you look for yourself. See, it's pretty good. Okay, so it does a good job. Now, it also does that um, blunt point. So let's test the blunt point, okay? In this case here, I'm going to get abusive with my pencil and just yank that puppy right off. Sorry I had to exhort the violence here uh, on my video, but you know. So we're going to change this to blunt right there. See, bluntness. And here we go again. And there is Sir Bluntness. Not too chabby, Rabby. Look at that. Okay. So it does a great job sharpening pencils. And of course, just pull this cap off to dump it out. Well, there you go, folks. That's the AFMAT Art Electric Pencil Sharpener. And this one is model PS12. All right. Well, I hope you like this quick review of the AFMAT. And if so, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.